if you're still looking for ideas for Easter dinner, well, frankly, you're in a bit of trouble, but we are here to help. Doc Willoughby, he's the executive editor at Gourmet Magazine, and this morning he is our chef on a shoestring, and he is prepared to make a simple and delicious three-course Easter dinner for four on our recession budget of just $35. Welcome. Good to see you. Morning. What Good do we have you. on the menu this morning? Well, we have an herb-roasted pork loin. Okay. We've got some nice potatoes with capers and brown butter. Mm -hmm. We've got green beans with celery salt, a very simple salad, and we've got a lemon glazed butter cake. That looks good. Right. Let's start with the salad. <laughs> Let's start with the salad. These are just, this is Boston lettuce and bib lettuce, okay. and they're two very tender sweet lettuces, so we're just going to tear up some of them and put them in this bowl. Difference, any difference in taste between the two? A little slight different in taste. They're both quite sweet, and so you don't need to put any vinegar on them. We're just going to dress them with a little salt, coarse okay. salt if you've got it, just mm -hmm. a little salt, put in a little olive oil, and toss it up. That's it. That's it, huh? That's it. A little salt and a as simple as could Pretty be, simple. so that you've got time for your pork loin roast. Now, this is a great cut of meat. It's very easy. It's very flavorful. You want to look for one with a little fat on it, yeah. and you want the fat to be white, not yellow. So This is a good cut. It looks like a good it cut. It is a good lean, cut. Huh? The first thing you want to do is brown it all over. We brown this one. It takes about eight minutes, and that brings out a lot of the flavor. That's very important when you're doing a roast to get it nice and brown. So we're going to take this out of the pan there and put a little... Got a little rack that we're going to put it on, and then it's herb roasted, so we just take big sprigs of herbs. So you've got rosemary, sage, and thyme, and just make a bed out of them. Now, if you can just, just use one herb if you want, thyme or rosemary, it's still going to be yeah. delicious. But before we put it on there, we're the going to put a rub on. So we've got some shallots. Put okay. the shallots in there, some garlic. You a lot put of garlic. A, a lot of garlic. Garlic is good for pork. We put a little bit of olive oil in there and put in some mustard. Big scoop of mustard, that's it. Then you just mix this all up. You want it kind of pasty so that it'll stick to the rust. Yep. And all we're going to do is mix this up and then just cover the roast with it. This gives it an, a lot of flavor. A lot of the things in this menu are very high flavor but inexpensive so that you get really a nice tasting dinner and you're not spending a huge amount of money. I was just going to ask you, is there a special spoon or anything? <laughs> yes, this is the special technique. Put it in the hands and just rub it on technique. there like you do with any type of barbecue. Right, exactly. The best to the best tool for doing this is your hands. You yep. can't get any better. So you got it all covered. So once you've done that, then we're going to pop it right back Just into the oven. Just put it on this little bed of herbs, and as it roasts, it'll absorb the flavor of those herbs. Clean off your hands. Let me get you a nice wet towel over here. Thank you. I was going to put it right in the oven. In a dry towel okay. for you. Thanks. We're good. all set. Here we go. <laughs> now, if you open the oven door. Will do. And we just happen to have one in there that's oh, all done. Look, look at that. that. And about 10 minutes before it's done. How takes, long is this going in the oven for? It takes about an hour or so, but you know, every roast is a little bit different, so you want to take its Check temperature it. starting yeah. at about uh, 45 minutes to make okay. sure it doesn't overcook. And then just about 10 minutes before it's done, put some herbs, a little olive oil on them, put them on top so you get a nice look. And how long before you do cut into it? Is there a little period where you Ideally, you want to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. To so it reabsorbs the everything. juices. It's much juicier if you do that. It'll still be nice and warm. But if you don't let it rest, it's not going to be as juicy. Got about a minute left. Let's move over here to some of the, uh, the other items we have. These are, this is great. These are just simple green beans with a butter that we put some celery salt in. Now, gotcha. the, most, the only thing most people use celery salt for is Bloody Marys. Yep. But in fact, it's got a great bright flavor. People won't quite recognize it, but it's a little bit different. It smells like celery. We have some Yukon Gold potatoes that we've roasted up with breadcrumbs, browned butter, and capers. The capers are another great, powerful ingredient give you some real flavor. And this, this the butter cake. is Honey, a cake guys. that grandma used to make. This is a butter cake with a lemon glaze. You can make this in 12 minutes of actual working time. 12 minutes. 12 minutes, put it in the oven, and it is a cake that everybody loves. It's that easy, huh? It is. Just pop in there. Erica, would you like a... No, oh, oh. You guys <laughs> personal plates. I mean, this I can move on to dessert. Well, sure, just, you know. why not? <laughs> right? Let's see how you did price-wise here, mm. Doc, because, you Delicious. know, you've got a budget. You've got a $35 budget. Can we get the grand total, please, and see exactly how Mr. Willoughby... Oh, look at this! $33.70. Oh, that looks well good. Well done. The big question is, though, did he make it into our top three oh, of really? our How Low Can You Go Challenge? Oh. oh. Just, so just 46 missed. 46 cents. Just That's quick math. Missed. Yeah. <laughs> None of us was that extra green bean? That I bought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the green if like, will get you every, every time. time. <laughs> if you'd like any of our Chef on a Shoestring recipes, just mm. log on to our website. Mm. The address is earlyshow.cbsnews.com. I think it's cbsnews.com slash Saturday. Saturday. As we've it is. We've got a new web page. Chris <laughs> is still working on it.